Y'all got a commentator that ain't make no sense. None. Zero. And listen, I don't know it all. I'm not telling you to like. I am telling you to like. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm telling you to like. Like the video, please. I don't know it all. You know I keep real. I keep it raw. But I got a comment today that it make no sense to me at all. So I want to bring this up to you and give you some information that can help you to actually make money like we always do. So family, let's get right into the video. You know what time it is, family. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it raw. And let's get into it. And let's actually build up so then you can see how this is making no sense to me and blowing my mind, right? So yesterday, Google was up to 107, right? So I've been doing deep dives lately on videos and I've been getting a lot from the family that's telling me, man, we appreciate the deep dives. We appreciate you telling us about the fundamental value of it, the technicals, what's going on on the investor relations page, right? So I've been getting a lot of that and this video is gonna be shorter than that, right? But I know that y'all appreciate the deep dives and I got y'all with that, just let's be clear. So let's check it out. It was 107. So I make a deep dive video telling you that, you know what, people are saying Google is done because chat GPT, chat GPT, I was saying B, you know, I'm, I'm from the East Coast family, sometimes we, we like that. But understand me on this, chat GPT, which is an artificial intelligence, which gives you answers on the internet. Oh wait, Google gives you answers on the internet, but chat GPT can give you more sophisticated answers as if you are talking to a person who knows about a subject very well, rather than just a search engine like Google. So then I made a video and I said, Google said, you know what? Two years ago, we unveiled something to give you a little hint. And I even said in that video that, hey, you know what? Maybe Google should have been let us know this, right? Maybe they should have been let us know this. But I said that there's a catalyst that's coming, right? And they're saying in the coming weeks, and I highlighted it in blue just for you. You know I highlighted it in blue just for you. And they're saying that we've been working on an experimental and conversational AI service, artificial intelligence, that's going to be like talking to a person instead of just a search engine. A person that is very knowledgeable and they said it's happening in the coming weeks not tomorrow so okay now that we got that out of the way they're saying they're going to make it widely available why is this one supposed to compete with the chat gpt so we know that chat gpt the artificial intelligence whether you heard of it or not it's only limited to everything that happened before 2021 but google is saying that when they come out with theirs it's called bard b-a-r-d they're saying that it's going to draw information from the web and provide an a I highlighted it in red so I don't have to hit you in your head and so that it could sink in your head. It draws information from the web to provide fresh, high quality responses, family. Helping you to explain complex things to a nine-year-old, like even things from NASA to a nine-year-old, right? Okay, now that we got this out of the way, you're thinking to yourself, oh, so chat GPT, which can't handle certain high capacities like Google can, Google is trying to compete with that so that it doesn't take over their space. So then I got this comment. One is green. Shout out to Mike. You know how they say you want to be like Mike? Be like Mike. Don't be like Bob. Now, again, Mike, Bob, these are not real names. I highlighted them to show you two different perspectives, literally minutes from each other. Like they absorbed the video totally different from each other because one of them was paying attention and the other one was being a knucklehead where my notepad at bah, stop it you're being uninformed and what you're doing in this case and again i don't know it all but i know how to read the charts and i trade with the chart and now with my heart so then i'm able to win when you allow yourself to be uninformed or even worse misinformed family you leaving a lot of money on the table and that's why i'm making this video today so you could understand so let's check out what i'm talking about so mike is a name that i just made up for this person right here he said, Keenan, you called it. Google is down $8 and 17 hours later. And wait, wait, wait. Why did he say that? Now, I'm not saying that I called anything. I'm not saying be like Mike so you can say, oh, man, Keenan, you called it, right? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is Keenan knows how to do technical analysis. Keenan knows how to look at a chart and say, hmm, this is where the buyers are. This is where the sellers are. And I want you to get that skill because this is a skill that pays the bills. Again, you could join the Discord. The link is in the description. And I'll see you over there so you can learn from a beginner to being a beast. So Mike says, you called it. I didn't call it family. The charts called it. I'm not even going to take credit for what the charts is telling me. I could just read the charts. And I want you to learn how to read the charts. Let's go over to Bob. So I made Mike green because that made sense. Right? I can't take credit for it. Shout out to you, Mike. But I can't take credit for that. It's just the charts telling me what's going on. And then I transmit that information over to you. So now, let's read what Bob says. Bob says this. Bob says, and talking about me, Keenan. He says, 
He hyped Google and it's down 8% right away. Don't let these Wall Street frauds fool you for a free bailout. First of all, hold up. I don't know what you mean by that family, but I had a response for you. And again, it's about how being uninformed helps you miss out on the gold. Now, what is the gold? I'm just gonna show you right now before we even get back to this comment. So, you know what? Let's go over here. Remember how I get down. I don't just tell you it on the way up. I tell you, yo, we gotta trade with the chart, baby, not with our heart. So in that same exact video, timestamp, 1539. Remember, don't be uninformed. You got to be able to absorb the videos. You got to be able to say, okay, someone who I trust to read the charts is telling me about important levels. Did I write it down? Did I make sure that I knew what was going on here? Let's see. And this is the receipt from the exact video that that comment was on. And I'll get back to it. So let's see. Remember, we could play it to the upside and make money. But a lot of people don't know that you could play it to the downside and make a whole lot of money. Hedge funds, private equity, they make a large majority of their money during recessions, family. During when the market is down. Citadel, one of the biggest type of stock market entities that exists. One of them, family, they made a record, all-time record profit in revenue in 2022 when the market was crashing all year because they make money on the way down and you can learn how to do it too, family. It's a skill. So you know what? Let's check out what Keenan Grace had to say in that exact video that I got that comment on. And let's see this right here. You ready? Turn your volume up just in case you can't hear it. So Keenan, take it away, please. I always tell you, you trade with the chart and not with your heart, family. That's how we got to get down. So let's look. A support level, a strong support level with three touches on this. So you see this purple line? One, two, three touches at 105 family this is an extremely strong support level over the last year if we break below this strong support level it's almost an easy ride to 102 now you're thinking easy ride to 102 what does this mean go and pick it up at 102 well if you want it to go long you got to be the judge on that however those of you who know how to trade options i'm not telling you to go and buy options right i can't give you financial advice but i'm telling you that this looks like an easy trade and i would be willing to give it a shot if I saw weakness under 105. Keep in mind, weakness. If you're from the Discord, then you already know what I'm talking about. So now, let's go and let's look at what I'll be looking at. I'll be looking at a 102 put. Now it says March 3rd, 3-3. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. So I literally said in that video that I'll be looking at a 102 put, right? So let's, let's go and let's look at this together, right? So let's go and let's look at this together. Not this chart right here. What I want us to look at is that same exact 102 put. Now, in case you forgot, this is the Google 102 put expiration, March 3rd. Let's go and let's take a look at what it looks like today. So it says right here that the Google up top, March 3rd, 102 put today is up 227%. But I say, don't get married to the date on it don't get married to the march 3rd you know what what happened to the one for today what happened to the to the one that expired today not 227 percent family 1700 percent 1700 percent but guess who missed out on it family bob mr uninformed now let me go to the comment that i got back and i don't want y'all to think i'm just bashing bob again no disrespect bob but i see this as a teaching moment for so many people who who are missing out on their blessing, to be honest with you. They're missing out on their blessing because they not paying attention or they're being, they're just uninformed, right? But they got a lot to say. And that's the thing. If you have a lot to say, but remember this, you got one mouth, but you got two ears. You're supposed to listen two times harder than you speak, family. But guess what? People don't do that. So let's see this. I said, this is the most uninformed comment I ever got in my life and YouTube career. And again, this is not directed at the person. It's the comment. I'm not saying that you are uninformed, but the comment itself is. What is the comment again? He hyped up Google, but it's down 8% right away. Listen, a rookie in a game who's uninformed don't see the potential money that could be made on the way down. And I just showed you 1,700% could be made. 200% could be made, right? But you won't even see it. When you have a clear direction, my people in the options who trade options, let me know this. How beautiful is it when you have a clear direction, whether it be up or down? How beautiful is it in terms of making money? 
As long as the direction is clear, let me know in the comments, family. If you think if the direction is clear, whether it's going up or down, is a, it's a beautiful thing when it's clear, when something is just crashing and you ride in the puts, or something is just running up and you ride in the cause, let me know how that makes you feel, family. Does it make you feel great? Let me know, because it makes me feel great. Let me know in the comments, but let's keep it going. It's extremely uninformed, because an 8% drop, family, imagine that you got into a put option. And it dropped and something, the stock dropped 8%. Family, you would be killing it. You just saw it 200%. You just saw it 1700%. Again, uninformed, you would never know because you, you're talking a lot, but you're not really putting in the time to learn that th something coming down like that is a absolute bull market on the put options. So here we go. I said, I literally said how to make money on it dropping from 105 with a put option to 102. And family, it crashed even harder than 102. So you would have been expecting to take profit around 102. And then this thing would have just kept on going and your put option would have been crazy up. So, okay, let's keep it going. I said this, I got the receipts at 513, which I just showed you in a video. And then I said this. And the video mostly was about this, how the catalyst is in coming weeks called Bard, which is a chat GPT competitor and how Google was late to announce it. And this is one of the reasons that they're going to see some issues because they were late to announce it. They let chat GPT come out, but they allegedly was working on Bard for two years. Like I showed you in the beginning of the video. And then I said, how did you miss all of this? Now I noticed what I'm doing now might seem like, you know, I'm coming off a little aggressive. I don't mean to, but sometimes I feel like you got to, you got to give, give your son a punch in the chest so that they can hear what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying go abuse your kids. Let's be clear. This is allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, but I'm just trying to keep it real with you. Like, I would keep it real with somebody that I know and love. Now, I don't want you to just stay uninformed. I want you to be informed. So rather than watching all of us get rich on the put options market, you could have a part of it and actually learn instead of just saying, man, the stock dropped. That's, that's, oh man, it's over. No, you can actually learn. So then I got a question for you. I got a question for everybody. How did you miss all of this? And that's, that seems like the question, but that, that might've been me just saying, yo, where my notepad at, right? That might've been that. Here's the real question. I asked this because I find it so ridiculous. And why do I find it ridiculous? But then I got to step back, right? Cause all right, maybe my delivery wasn't done in such a way. Cause again, I got to be humble and I got to think. There's a thing called reading comprehension, right? When you go to school and you're taking language arts or LA or whatever, and then you take a reading comprehension test to see, are you picking up the information that's coming to you, right? This is almost like that. Like, and I'm just wondering, I know that when you're in class, some people are going to get an F, some people are going to get an A, B, C, D, right? Not everybody going to be able to comprehend it all. So then I ask this. I'm, now I'm thinking I must be doing something wrong for someone to misunderstand the information here to this degree, to this degree. And again, I'm literally showing it, but I understand and I got to understand that it just even visual aids won't work for everybody, right? Even me showing what I'm looking at and I show you what I'm looking at, not just towards the, the downside. I say, hey, we can't get married to the upside. We can't get married to a direction when we are trying to make a trade. So you know what? What are we looking at for the upside? So then I show you also upside. I'm only playing it to the upside if it was past 110. If it was past 110.50, then I would be playing it towards the upside. But I said, if you know what? If it was below 105, then I will be playing it towards the downside. Let me know in the comments if you appreciate that. Because again, this information that I'm giving you can help you to make money either way. I will not tell you to buy it, hold it, or sell it. You the CEO of your own portfolio. I'm just here to give you the facts so that you could be the judge. And I want you to understand that there's a lot of money to be made here. Now, Google is a stock that I DCA, I dollar cost average into, but I also would like to play the options when the direction is clear. Whether it is crashing down like a rock, oh yeah, I'm in puts and I'm making money there. Or if it's running up, then I'm in the calls and I'm making money there and I'm in the stock long term, so I'm making money there. So you need information, family. That's what today is all about. And speaking of that, I decided to let attendees be Today sponsor the video since today is all about information and learning. So let's check this out. Shout out to Tendies. The link is going to be in the description and in the pinned comment. I want you to see this. This is very important. Tendies now has an options profit calculator. An options profit calculator. Why is this important? This is important because, oh, also they got an options flow calculator, which we've been using. We're not calculated, but you can see 
what all of the big dogs are buying. What options are they buying? Where are they trying to force the market to? In which way and what stock? Especially when you connect your own broker to it, your own app that you're using, you can connect it to it and then see what's going on. But let's talk about this options profit calculator for a second. Let's go and let's take a quick look at it, right? Boom, we're looking at the tools. We click options profit calculator and it says you can calculate the profit and loss on your next options trade and analyze it in real time, family. So that's huge information. You don't even have to get into the trade yet, but you could plug it in right here and then you can see how it's going to go, right? So look at this. Do you see these rows up and down? So this day, this is the 8th, February 8th, which is a Wednesday. And you can look. So if the stock price is right here at this dotted line and you got into an option, right? You plugged in the option, you got into it. What happens if today, the same day, it goes up to 101? You'll be up 39%. What if it goes up to 103? You'll be up 79%. What if it goes to 105? You'll be up 125%. Okay, what if time goes on and on and on and you're still holding on to this for whatever reason and it's the 14th of February? If it's at 101 now, you're going to be down 22%. If it's at 103, you're going to be basically up 28%. But you could see the profit and loss before you even get into the game, family. This is huge. Hit the description and get on attendees, family. It is free to use. And all of these tools that they're giving you, I'm telling you, the options profit calculator, family apps is charging for this. There are some that are free, like this one, for example, and they're giving you the options flow for free as well. Go ahead and use that link. It's in the top comment. And now I want to give you, like I said, I always got something practical for you because I want you to just see, okay, now that we got all that out the way, what are we looking at in terms of Google to make money? Again, you the CEO of your own portfolio, so you have to be the judge. But check this out. Me doing the technicals on it, I'm looking, okay, it could go up. It could. It could go down. Do you know the future? We all know who does, and it ain't me. So my OGs know what time it is. I got to stop saying it. I told you 10 times already. I can't say it no more for now. But what if it goes down? What am I looking to play it on the downside? Below 95.65, I can see it coming down to 92. Family, you see this red line? I highlighted this in red, so I have to hit you in your head. So I'm looking to play on the downside, but I would have to see weakness. I'm talking about the RSI is way too high. I'm talking about the MACD. Again, you'll know these terms if you get in the class. But look at this. In the class, it's $10 for anybody wondering. So now, check this out. I'm playing it to the downside if I see that weakness. Boom. Easy money on the way down. A lot of people will never make money on the way down in their entire lives. And they're going to complain that something fell 8% rather than making money on it, family. Let's just let's keep it real. So now what if it goes to the upside? What will make me look towards the upside? So let's just take a second and just see where these lines come from, right? This is a support level. When you look and you see, imagine that you threw a ball and the ball started bouncing and it's bouncing on this purple line. Look, it hit here. It went up. It came back, it had some resistance, it hit here twice, one, two, and it hit here again. Family, this is a strong support. If it breaks under it, then it's gonna drop to the next strong support on the technicals, right? The news can change things from happening if Google decides to put some news out, but this is the technicals of it, right? It works 70% of the time, which is more than it loses. So now, let's go to the upside. What does that look like? And if you appreciate me, showing you the technicals like this, family, again, please let me know in the chat because I am, I need to know. I need to know what is effective in terms of you being able to understand this because I want you to make money. So, okay, and I'm not telling you to buy it. I gotta be clear, I can't legally give you financial advice, but I can show you what I'm looking at and where my brain is with it when I'm thinking about getting into a trade, right? Remember the stock of Google, I just like to DCA, dollar cost average in, but let's take a look. 101, 101 is the next resistance. Resistance means it's going to be hard. It's going to resist breaking above it. But if it does, family, we almost got another clear shot to 105. So then remember, we have to understand the charts so that we can not be surprised by the price movement, right? We don't want to be surprised by that. So then we got to look at the charts. And if we see strength, not just over 101, we need to see strength over 101. And then boom, we almost got a clear shot to 105. So you go and you be the judge, family. But if you appreciate this video, please hit the like. I want you to look at the likes and then look at the views and compare them and say, you know what? I feel like Keenan deserve another like or not. And then you be the judge on that too, family. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hit the attendees app in the description so that you could get up on some more information and not be uninformed. So 
I appreciate y'all. But if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen. Consider investing in index funds. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.